Hey, this is Donnie Smith, and uh, this is uh, trying this for, you know, it's about my second or third attempt to try this Google Hangouts, trying to figure that out. But what I want to do is do a, a Q&A, a DIY Q&A that I had on one of my videos, and do it on this. Uh, now I just kind of got to figure out the Google Hangout thing and find out how, like if you have questions, how you can join me on here. I'm not sure about that yet. But I am going to go ahead and answer a question that I had. It was a video, one of the Mustang videos that we did, the the father-son videos that I have, and uh, someone was asking, you know, how, how do I learn how to do this? You know, do I go to school? Do I, you know, read books, watch videos? You know, they just want to know the best way how to do this. And I'm going to attempt to, uh, on uh, this Google Hangout, there's a place for Google Docs. I'm going to attempt to go to there. I, I uh, copied the comments there, so maybe we can see them. So let me go to Google Docs, and you have to bear with me. I'm new at this. And I'm a little bit uh, computer challenged sometimes, so let me select that. Well, I don't know. Only thing is, I'm not sure if this is what you see on the screen. But anyway, if not, uh, I'll read it to you. And uh, if you can see it, you can read it yourself because I'm not real sure until you know I watch it and see how this works. But uh, now we're going to attempt to say that username L I I C H. You know. Anyway, they was wanting to know. I want to learn how to restore cars like you do here. Where do you learn this? And at a certain school, at home, by computer books, by learn by doing. What is the, the you know, how do you do that? Anyway, so uh, to answer that question, and, and let me start off by, you know, I'm excited, got excited about this question because this is the whole purpose that started me trying to promote this type of work online, on videos. Uh, I started with YouTube, you know, a couple years ago, doing a little how-tos, you know, for... First, I started out with, uh, you know, college level, and then I kind of got into the DIY, trying to expose this to more people uh, that may become interested in this. So when I find someone that is interested and they want to learn how, whether it's for yourself, DIY, or to go to school for it, you know, it really excites me. So let me answer that question, though. Uh, of course, I am a, an instructor at a community college, so I think they offer a, a very good source for, you know, the basics. You've got to learn the basics somewhere. And whether it's a community college or a technical school or even a private school, you know, you're going to learn all the basics there, the basic auto body and paint work, and that's going to give you something to build from. Uh, the advantage going to the school, you know, you learn more of uh, why you do the things you do. You're going to learn the theory, and you're going to have the hands-on. So I'm an advocate of, uh, you know, attending school. But I do want to mention that you're not going to know it all when you get out of school. You know, this industry is changing fast, you know, on the newer cars. In this video, it's a 66 Mustang. You know, maybe not so much like that, but on newer cars, if you're wanting to do this as a profession, uh, it's, it's going to be an ongoing training process. I mean, you're going to go to a shop, but they have their in-house type of training that they do, or iCar or whatever. You're going to have to stay updated and continue learning. You know, just going to school is not going to be the end of it. But I think it is a good place, a good foundation to build from, and a good place to start. And uh, if you're wanting to stay in your community, uh, look for a, you know, a, a community or junior college. A lot of terrific programs that they have available, and they're usually not real expensive. And uh, there are some. Now, the school I'm at doesn't, but there are some that do offer night courses. You know, we're trying to do this in work. So that's an option for you. Uh, technical schools, private schools, that's probably going to be, you know, if you uh, may, you know, you may live near one like a UTI in Houston or Laramie, Wyoming has a Wild Tech and they have several different ca campuses. Uh, those are going to be more expensive, but that is another option for you. Uh, if you had a, someone that, that can teach you, you know, you, like your dad, you know, father-son thing, if he teaches you, that's a good way to learn. Uh, you know, I'm teaching my boys. You know, they're going to learn a lot from me. Uh, a friend that can teach you. If you work at a body shop, you can learn a lot that way. Now, either way you learn, set up 
uh, by doing. Yeah, it's going to take hands-on. It's going to take doing it to learn it. But it is a really good to get a, a you know a good idea of how it works, a good concept, you know by you know going to a class. And a good thing about going to a school when you have questions or there's maybe you don't even know that you have the problem yet. And the instructor kind of sees you going in a director in a direction that you sh you know he sees a problem. So he can kind of help you along the way. You can also learn by books and video. You just don't have that uh, that help from an instructor, which really helps quite a bit. But um, you know, YouTube has a lot of videos. As far as auto body, you know, this this channel here, you know, it's a, has lots of videos for you. There's a lot of other ones out there as well. Um, Amazon, if you type in Donnie Smith, you know, I've got some some how-to books, you know, for you know prepping and some different subjects, four, five, five, seven, I think, or something like that. Books that you can view. There's others out there, you know. But anyway, yeah, I encourage you, whatever it takes. You know, if you can attend school, you know, look for books, look for videos, you know, to do that. And again, some things to look for in a school. Uh, a lot of schools are NATEP. We're a NATEP accredited program. I'm not saying that school has to be. There are some very good programs that are not. That's just something to look for. You know, the school NATEP. Uh, um, you know, you may go talk to the instructor, instructor at the school, you know, to see, you know, if it feels like a fit for you. Um, but most shops do want you to have some type of training before you go there because it's going to be a challenge for them to keep you up to date, you know, and moving forward. They really don't have time to go back to, you know, the basics and the foundation and start from there. But anyway, that is an excellent question, and I really appreciate you asking that. And if you have any other questions, be sure and let me know. Um, I did a brief statement on here, but you know, they only allow you so many words, and I uh, really wanted to expand on that a little bit, but let's see, also I had on here, Cub Kate Bob, have you said that? Um, cool vid, thanks, well I want to thank you for watching, really appreciate you taking the time to watch it and to comment, uh, I appreciate that. Donnie, this was a good video, but step by step will be important too, I look forward to seeing that one. John Kerry, and I thank you for uh, commenting on that, and what they're talking about is I uh, kind of showed an overview of how to do a quarter glass, but the step-by-step -step I'm going to do on the other side before I take the quarter off, you know, because it's going to be more difficult to take it out with the quarter panel on. So anyway, I'll get that to you, and, I, and thanks for watching. And then Chad Johnson, great video. Well, Chad, thanks for uh, taking the time to watch this video and to comment. Anyway, as I move forward, um, kind of learn how this Google Hangouts work. Maybe I can get on here if you have questions and you can ask me. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can. Okay, I don't know if you saw the document or not or if you just saw me the whole time. But, uh, you know, just trying it out to see. And, you know, like I said, sometimes I'm kind of a little bit computer challenged. But I can figure, if I can figure this out and how to tell you when to be there, you know, I think there's allowed up to 10 people to be on here at, at a time. Uh, you know, if I can figure that out and you have some questions, maybe I'll let you know a time in the future when I'm going to be on here and we can kind of uh, collaborate a little bit. But anyway, I want to appreciate all of you for commenting on all the videos, not just this one, and, uh, and uh, watching the videos. And if you have any questions, let me know. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you next time.